Again, this bulletin in Sydney's west, where a police officer and a security guard have been shot in a busy hospital emergency room. It happened late last night at Nepean Hospital, and reporter Chris Urquhart joins us from there now. Chris, good morning. Can you talk us through what's happened? Ashlyn, this is a major story, a critical incident, and one in which uh, the details are still developing. But to make it absolutely clear for people at home, let me walk you through exactly what we know has happened. Yesterday in Sydney's west, a 39-year-old man was arrested for uh, break and enter offences and then was given bail. What we then know is that after 10 o'clock last night, that same man is alleged to have gone to Nepean Hospital, where we are for some treatment. What has transpired after that isn't exactly clear, but we do have an allegation that that man was holding a pair of scissors to the throat of a doctor and was making threats against that woman. Triple Zero was called and the first available police car that was in the area raced to the scene. In that car was a dog squad officer who then entered the premises into the emergency room at roughly the same time as hospital security was there as well. There was a scuffle between the police officer and the man who had been threatening the doctor, whereby that man managed to get his hands in one way or another on the police officer's gun. He then is accused of firing it at the police officer and at a security guard. He injured both of them. The shots were fired into the thigh of the police officer and it's very fortunate that he was actually at hospital because he was able to be taken off to theatre and get the treatment he needed. And there's a story of heroism emerging in this as well in that perhaps one of the other patients who was in emergency room at the time pulled the police officer to safety. The security guard was shot in the calf. One way or another, this man managed to be subdued, as you can imagine, huge numbers of police descended on the area and managed to get this man under control and then took him off to Penrith Police Station. Then the investigation got underway, obviously a critical incident uh, with a police officer having been fired at. Forensics have been at the hospital throughout the night and very senior police as well. In fact, so senior that the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Catherine Byrne, gave a press conference in the middle of the night and here's part of what she told us. This officer had only just started working, had only just started the shift for the night, had left home, had just taken the first call and then this is what has, uh, has occurred. And that officer, we understand, remains in a critical but stable condition this morning. We are waiting for an update on the condition of the security guard as well. In these issues, obviously, when police are fired on, people's attentions turn to matters of terrorism and so forth, although police have been quick to point out that isn't the case here. They're looking at other issues that are in play in this story. And, Ashton, I will have more details on this as the morning continues. Yeah, terrifying incident. Chris, thank you for that. We'll talk to you again soon.